Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging rational equation problem. This is one of the best rational equation problem which I have solved. Equation is 6 root x minus 6 over square root x whole cube plus cube root x plus 6 over square root x whole cube equal to 6 root x plus 1 over cube root x whole cube. We have to find out real solutions. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation as usual denominator we have got square root x and cube root x so denominator cannot be zero so i need to write x cannot be zero point number one point number two square root x is involved so x cannot be negative for real solutions so overall conclusion what we can consider here x should be positive always non-zero positive okay now I will take LCM simply. So let me write here 6th root x minus 6 whole cube plus cube root x plus 6 whole cube. Denominator, just check it out. Square root x whole cube. So let me write square root x whole cube is square root x times square root x times square root x. So square root x times square root x is x. So let me write directly x root x. x root x RHS. 6 root of x as it is plus 1. And cube root and cube will be over x. Now we can easily cancel these two terms. Next step I will take this root x to the right. Let's cross multiply. So I will write 6 root x minus 6 whole cube plus cube root x plus 6 whole cube equal to the square root x and then our bracket cubic bracket 6 root x plus 1 whole cube. Now one very important algebraic manipulation will come. In this bracket I am going to multiply with root 6th root x. Let me do it. So 6 root x times 6 root x, this is first term only, then 6 root x. Once I have multiplied, so I need to divide also, 6 root x. This is our bracket. You can see, done. Now, just check this denominator. Denominator is x power, 6 root x means x power 1 by 6 and whole cube. So, whole cube you will multiply here a power b whole power c. Now if you will cancel, so denominator with power q you will get root x. So now I can cancel this term denominator let me write in the next step root x and see 6 root x times 6 root x. So what I can write q root x plus 6 root x whole q and common denominator that is square root x. x power 1 by 6 whole power 3 it will come out root x. So now I can cancel these two terms. Now what is left that is most important. I will write here 6 root of x minus 6 whole cube plus cube root of x plus 6 whole cube equal to in bracket 6 root of x plus cube root of x whole cube. Task is done. Now I will give substitution as usual. Let us consider this bracket equal to a, this bracket equal to b and if you will see it is the addition of both. So now we can write it is a plus b. Earlier you cannot write like this without simplification. So this is the beautiful part of this solution. Now I can write a cube plus b cube equal to a plus b whole cube. Okay, so let us expand a plus b whole cube. So let me write in this manner a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube. Let's expand a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b. And right hand side it is a cube plus b cube. Now I will cancel these two. 
सो वॉट इज लेफ्ट थ्री टाइम्स ए बी इन ब्रैकेट ए प्लस बी इक्वल टू जीरो कंक्लूजन फ्रॉम हेयर ए इक्वल टू जीरो और बी इक्वल टू जीरो और ए प्लस बी इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ रिमेंबर वॉट इज अवर ए ए इज सिक्स रूट ऑफ एक्स माइनस एवरी न्यूमरेटर यू कैन सी इट इज एवरी रिटर्न न्यूमरेटर इज अवर ए एंड बी वैल्यू लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड राइट हैंड साइड इट इज द समेशन ऑफ ए प्लस बी सो लेट इज फाइंड आउट अवर सोल्यूशन आई विल राइट ए इक्वल टू जीरो फर्स्ट वॉट इज ए सिक्स रूट ऑफ एक्स माइनस सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो ओके डन Now I will write add six to both sides. So sixth root of x equal to six. So I will take raise both sides power six. So I can write x is equal to six power six. This is one solution. We will verify little later. Now come to b equal to zero. What is b? Cube root of x plus six equal to zero. so if i will take away 6 from both sides i will write cube root of x equal to minus 6 okay so what i will write now see x positive was our domain if you remember x positive or our domain if i will calculate simply i will take cube from both sides let me take cube so x will be equal to minus 6 whole cube which is minus 216 and see this was our domain so i can reject this solution so i will write rejected okay now third equation a plus b equal to 0 let us write over there a plus b equal to 0 so i will write 6th root of x plus cube root of x equal to 0 now i can write this cube root x as see it would be as it is plus cube root x we can write 6th root x times 6th root x easily x power 1 over 6 times x power 1 over 6 we can write it is x power 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 so it is x power 2 by 6 which is x power 1 over 3 or it is cube root x okay so in this place we can write like this now simply we will take 6th root x common so in bracket i will write 1 plus 6th root x equal to 0 so either 6th root x is equal to 0 or 6th root x equal to minus 1 now you can easily conclude from the first solution is it possible x is equal to 0 so that is exempted it is not in the domain so we will reject this solution x cannot be zero so rejected now come to the second one this sixth root x even power it is so minus solution is complex solution it will generate or you can see it is square root x whole power 1 over 3 which is equal to minus 1 that means it is minus 1 whole power 1 over 3 we can write so square root x is negative number negative 1 it is complex solution so we will reject this one also so rejected this one also so which solution is accepted that is 6 power 6 so our final solution for this complicated rational equation is x is equal to 6 power 6 let us verify the answer so if it is 6 power 6 so let me write here 6 power 6 sixth root minus 6 over no need to write because this will generate 6 you will get 6 minus 6 that in the numerator so this value will be let me write here 6 power 6 plus cube root so i will write 6 power 6 whole power 1 by 3 plus 6 over square root so 6 power 3 lhs we will simplify first so 0 plus i will write 6 square so that is 36 plus 6 42 over 6 power 3 so which will be equal to 
6 times 7 over 6 power 3. So it will give us 7 over 36. This is our LHS. Now come to our RHS part. Let me write here LHS and now we will calculate RHS. 6 root x. So 6 plus 1 over cube root x. So 6 is square. Okay, 6 power 6 times 1 by 3. So 6 power 2. So it will give us 7 over 36 and which is same as LHS. So this answer is verified. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.